KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Another extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Thursday, the 17th of January. I'm James Spann. Get ready for a wild roller coaster ride. Mild temperatures, thunderstorms may be severe, cold temperatures, maybe a few snow flurries over the next five days. Let's sort all this out. A little wave coming through today, and that's uh, producing a lot of cloud cover across the state. There's the visible satellite view this afternoon. Little few uh, breaks down in South Alabama, but most everybody socked in with low clouds. That was a radar at 2:35, and you can see showers over the northern half of the state. Uh, some in the Birmingham metro. These will be ending this evening as the wave passes on by. Temperatures mostly upper 40s and low 50s at 2:30. Birmingham at 50, 45 in Gadsden, 42 at Fort Payne. And again, around the continent, watching really cold air up over Canada. And at some point, that dam's going to burst up there, and we're going to deal with that. The first chunk of it comes in here late this weekend. And a big old winter storm getting set to crank up. We've got winter storm watches now from uh, near Chicago up to Maine. Uh, this includes Indianapolis and Cleveland and Pittsburgh, most of upstate New York and New England. Winter weather advisories out west and also winter storm warning for uh, parts of Iowa and some of the mountainous states. So kind of an active pattern for the northern half of the country. And a marginal risk of severe storms where you typically don't see it. Parts of Nevada and Utah. And again, you can see there's a little circle where there could be some thunder over north Alabama today. Fairly doubtful with a, a cool, stable air mass in place. Tomorrow, got a marginal risk of severe storms around the Arklatex region. Texarkana, Shreveport, Tyler, Longview. And on day three, a marginal risk for parts of the Gulf Coast region. Uh, this is the darker green. This includes areas south of a line from near Red Bay down to about Oneana and Ranburn. And we'll talk about this in detail in just a second. Precipitation for the next seven days. A lot for the upper Pacific coast out west and also for the east. Of course, a lot of that up north is going to be in the form of snow. In Alabama, the amount's around three inches for the shoals, two and a half inches for Huntsville, one to two inches for much of the rest of the state. And a lot of that's going to come Saturday and Saturday night. So let's go through all of this, kind of a complex pattern, which you kind of expect in January. This is uh, tomorrow at noon, the 12Z GFS, short wave coming out of the Rockies, and down below that, a deep surface low forms north, north of Amarillo, around Gage, Oklahoma. And for us, the day will be mostly cloudy, uh, just a small chance of a shower. The day should be fairly mild with a high close to 60 in most spots. Now, the system advances rapidly eastward on Saturday. you got the surface low approaching Louisville. Big snows cranking up. St. Louis, Chicago, Detroit, Cleveland, over toward Erie and Pittsburgh and Buffalo. Down this way, we're in the warm sector. This is the three-kilometer NAM. Valid at noon Central Time Saturday, and there should be a fairly long line of showers and maybe some thunder from Nashville down through West Alabama to about New Orleans. And the question is, can we see severe storms? Well, uh, let's look at the sounding, the forecast sounding at the same time. This is for noon. This is for Birmingham. And, of course, the one number that sticks out there, that there's no surface-based instability. The Cape is zero, as you can see by the sounding plot. And accordingly, there's no hazard type showing up here. It's just hard to get severe weather with no surface-based instability. The wind fields would favor strong storms. So if by chance we can get a narrow tongue of instability up in here, there could be a few storms with gusty winds, maybe even an isolated short-lived tornado. But the big question mark is the instability. Now, more to the south, there is better instability. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter at noon. And uh, it, it ramps up to about one unit from near Demopolis down to Mobile. So it would seem like the better chance of any uh, severe storms probably for the southern half of the state on Saturday. And even there, it's kind of a low-end threat. But as always, with this kind of deal where you've got good dynamics and weak thermodynamics in the cool season, you have to watch it. But we'll see a lot of rain. Rain amounts, again, uh, one to two inches for much of the state. This is Saturday night at midnight. The big rain's onto the east, and cold air floods in here. 
And again, you can clearly see the uh, cold air advection, strong winds. And yeah, we might see a few flurries late Saturday night and Sunday morning. But again, there's no evidence anywhere of any impact or accumulation. A curiosity more than anything else. And then by noon Sunday, uh, we start to clear. The sky becomes sunny. It's going to be windy and cold. We stay in the 30s all day. Folks up in the Tennessee Valley could stay below freezing all day. And the wind chill index will be low with that strong north wind. But the sky will be clear for the lunar eclipse viewers Sunday night. Monday, the morning's going to be cold. Lows between 15 and 25. The high Monday in the upper 40s, the sky will be sunny. Here comes the next system on Tuesday. Clouds will likely increase. And the GFS now trending toward the European. It's slower. Uh, we'll go to Wednesday, and there's your batch of showers coming in here on Wednesday. Uh, we could get close to 60 on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, uh, highs... 50s, maybe temperatures could be falling if this verifies. This is the uh, European solution Wednesday, and it's a little slower still. So we'll mention a good chance of rain uh, Wednesday. And again, we see no sign of any winter mischief at this point. All that's way up north. Uh, again, Chicago up into uh, parts of Michigan. A week from today, Thursday the 24th, pretty cold look. Big ridge pumping up to Alaska, cold downstream trough. And again, that looks cold and dry. Let's go out 10 days, Sunday the 27th. Again, troughing in the east. That looks cold and dry. These are the temperature anomalies coming from CPC for the end of the month, the 25th through the 31st of January, below average for much of the contiguous United States. Here are the numbers coming off the European. You see highs dropping in the 30s on Sunday after 60s on Saturday. It's got 21 for Birmingham on Monday morning. Again, we're, we're forecasting a range of 15 to 25. And after that, it's hard to find any warmth. Highs mostly in the 40s, lows mostly in the 20s. And there might be a day or two in there where it's colder than that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.